Here is how you can do text-based editing inside of Kaden Live. We first start with our clip inside of the project bin, and this is where we're going to do our editing, or rather inside of the speech editor. To open it, go up in the menu bar, go to view, go down to speech editor. This should open a tab, and inside here you can choose your speech model. If you don't have that set up, you can click on this little hamburger menu here, and go to configure speech recognition. Now to learn more about this, I have a video that shows you how to do this for subtitles, but it's pretty straightforward. Simply click on the download speech model. This should take you to the website where you can find a couple speech models. I'll leave it to selected zone only. And before we start the recognition, inside here of the clip monitor, I'll find the segments that I want to use. I'll use the keyboard shortcuts I and O to mark the in and out points so that we can use the selected zone only, and I'll click on Start Recognition. Kitten Life will scan the audio in the selected area and generate the text for you. Now, at the very beginning, you can see we have no speech, and at the very end, we have no speech. You can eliminate the no speech areas all at once by clicking on this hamburger menu here and going to remove non-speech zones. So if I click on it, you'll see it will remove these areas. Next, we can click on different words and it will take us over to uh, where these words are being said in our clip. So you can see as I click on them, the time cursor jumps around. We can also left click, hold and drag to select certain areas. If you want to eliminate them, you can click on the little trash down here. You can also click on areas and add markers. So you can see, add marker. You also have the option to search for word. So I can type show and you can see we have show over here. And essentially you would simply go ahead and clean up your text, maybe remove repeated words. If you know that you said a sentence multiple times, select it, delete. And once you're done, you can simply click on this little drop down here and you have a few options. One of them is to create new sequence with edit and that is to create a sequence with the edits that we've just done. And the other one is to insert selection and timeline, which means if I were to grab a sentence, for example, and I were to say to insert selection and timeline, you can see it adds it over here in the timeline. Otherwise, we can simply click on the drop down and choose create new sequence with edit. I'll call this sequence one. Now we get a new sequence with the cuts that we've done and the spaces that we've removed. Now there are limitations to this editing method. For example, if you recorded your audio track separate from your video track, you can't get Kaden Live to read both of them together and not even by creating a sequence. So if we were to, for example, go into sequence one over here that I created, go to the speech editor here. If I were to say start recognition, you can see Kaden Live says no speech detected. So this method only works with video clips that come with their audio. So far, that is the main downside of the text-based editing. If you want to learn more about where to get these speech models or how to generate subtitles from text, you can click on this video here.